let's start in two minutes. Okay, now we will be um, looking into how we can practically work on um, the, I mean, we are going to start, okay, I guess last time we had 15 participants, now we don't have much, so can we still wait for another one or two minutes uh, until they all come up, like, Let's see if at least around 20 people come join in because um, I'm just going to quickly ask, has everyone joined? Okay, so uh, we will quickly start because it's going to be again a 40 minute session. So uh, let's not waste much time. Um, and everyone has been muted as of now. So if you want, you can try unmuting yourself. And I could see that a few people have not have not joined the audio yet. So uh, yeah, let's let's wait till everyone is connecting their audio as well. Or else it's gonna be they might lose the things. We'll wait for another two minutes. Until then, I will set up my uh, development environment and stuff like that. Okay. Got this ready. Got this ready. Okay. Um, I guess we can start now. So I'm sharing my screen. Uh, I guess everyone will be able to see my screen right now, right? Are you all able to see my screen? Um, I mean, if, if someone is not able to see my screen, just send a quick message on chat. And uh, I'll also make sure I keep looking at the chat often. Okay, great. That's nice. Okay, good, good, good. And uh, I'll just put the chat on the side. All right. So um, first things first, I'm using a Mac machine and uh, it has a... Uh, um, I'm using Mac Mission for my uh, everyday purpose. It does have uh, PHP installed in it. So um, it it is 5.6, which is, I mean, uh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it has just started. Uh, it's not a big deal about uh, the version of PHP because uh, all we need to do, uh, why we need a PHP is just to have a server and uh, have to bind 
couple of files. That's all, nothing else. It's just gonna be a static site generator. Any version of PHP will work out for this case. So don't need to worry about that. Um, and now uh, for the editor, currently, I, I generally prefer Visual Studio Code, but right now I'm using Sublime Text. Uh, due to some uh, crazy reasons with Visual Studio Code. For some reason, it was not actually working. Um, it was not actually opening up for some reason. So, um, yeah, it actually opened up. Let me bring it to it as well. So, uh, I, I thought I, I thought at this point of time, uh, instead of using Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text would be faster and uh, uh, quicker. So, that's the reason I used Sublime Text. And uh, here, I'm also using... Uh, a terminal which is iterm it is a kind of like a modified terminal and uh, it has a omizsh shell so that i'm also able to look at how uh, um, if the current branch is uh, clean or not clean and stuff like that so what i'm going to quickly do now is i'm going to create a new uh, a new page on uh, my github and uh, i'll just create a new repository here and then i start with i'll, I'll also start with how things are going on so that you will also understand uh, from the basics like one by one all right so let me create a new repository quickly so this is gonna be like uh, what what shall we name this as so php uh, bootstrap trial or something like that i'm sharing the screen uh, are you not able to see the screen is everyone able to see the screen anyone not able to uh how about now is it okay sorry 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 okay what i just did was okay so yes i had visual studio code online on as well but i am gonna prefer using sublime text because sublime text is gonna be extra fast and uh, very simple in this case um and for the terminal i'm using item and uh this is this is a modified terminal in mac os and uh this is this has a lot of good things about uh, how it shows things like using tabs and using themes, using um, um, translucent windows, etc. But uh, apart from all those things, I'm also using uh, something called as oh my ZSH as it's as this shell. This shell is like super awesome. Unfortunately, this is available only for Linux based machines like sorry, Unix based machines like Ubuntu, Mac, etc. It is not available in Windows. Okay, sorry about the Windows folks, but uh, yeah, things are becoming better soon. Uh, here I'm using Sublime Text for this. So what I'm gonna do is currently I'm just gonna create a new project. It's gonna be PHP Bootstrap Trial, and also what I'm gonna do is this is mainly for understanding how we can use a uh, is it Robbie Russell? What is Robbie Russell? Uh, I have heard of that name. Uh, Amog, you wanna talk? Just just open up the mic and talk. Yeah. So. Uh, I was just saying about the theme on item two. No, item two. I'm using the default theme, bro. This is this is the default one. Okay. Oh, Robbie Russell is the default one actually. Is it Robbie Russell? I mean, how do you check the themes here? Uh, you go to O oh my uh, Z, and then you uh, download the theme actually. Oh, is it oh my Z such theme? Okay, then then I'm using the uh, default thing. Himanshu, I'll be sending all the links. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, anyway, this is gonna be uploaded on YouTube. I'll be sending the links. Uh, but before that, to know what exactly my uh, current personal development environment is, personal dev dev environment, and put my name, and you can immediately find the first thing so this is this is my current setup okay not exactly that picture definitely that's not yes the screen is getting recorded um so here there are some windows development windows specific thing as well so i'm using google chrome i have a couple of extensions i'm using zoom which is where you are all connected i'm using git i'm using item 2 with omiz oh sh and uh, i'm using sublime text 2 here so this is version 2 not 3 for some reason i hate three with sublime text 2 i'm using willborn package controller um, i'm using emmet emmet css snippets emmet one line etc these four things i'll show you how they are helping me in a few minutes uh, then i'm uh, virtual box vagrant is not required right now scotchbox is also not re required at the moment um, 
other than that i'm using i'm also using visual studio code which is the go to editor for uh, some complex uh, like for example for using react i completely use vs code because that is extremely good and that's what we are going to use and i'm going to share you this link on slack as well so that uh, this is available for all and this is the exact configuration that i have got on my system so that if you are able to like mimic the same configuration it would be perfect like when you are trying to merge new git pull requests etc that will be really helpful and uh, let me first post this on slack okay so this is the uh, environment which i am using uh, apart from this i guess we can just directly jump into uh, the thing okay using your site only but okay atom is actually good but it is not as robust as uh, sublime text or vs code for some reason i i don't know where where exactly it is missing but for some reason it is not that good okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a git clone on this page uh, before that let me close the finder here so i'm going to take downloads works gs soc oops i don't think i have a gs soc website so gs soc and uh, here i am just going to create so so these take commands etc these kind of shortcuts are available here that is a good good thing about i guess it should be either omaze.sh or uh, how do i link git to vs code vs code automatically links git uh, when you open the repository so you don't need to explicitly link v uh, vs code with git okay and uh, the next thing is uh, let's start with uh, creating a uh, cloning the repository so obviously we all know these things this is the basic so i'm just going to create the repository for now and uh, okay so that's done i'll just copy this whole thing one one particular thing which i would always uh, tell everyone is when you do a git clone make sure you put your username in front of the github.com okay so it's going to be praveen science my username at github.com and then i'm using this whole uh, url for cloning so most of the times the problem happens with people is they clone and start running the commands directly like like this you could clearly see that it has cloned to a new directory so you always need to go to that new directory and then you need to clone and by the way with uh, omaze.sh the good parts are like it is going to show me that this this particular directory is a git repository and i am in master and the branch is clean uh, let me open the directory here okay superb so i've got this here perfectly and uh, so i'm here now so all i need to do is i i first uh, i'll just add this folder inside my sublime text so it doesn't work this way okay right so first thing uh, in php or any uh, any of the server side languages is that you need to have something like um, an index file index or default default is the the reason why we have default.htm default.php or anything is it's actually default.asp because microsoft want to stay in a different way and that's the reason uh, uh, they started using default and in the names so uh, uh, if you, are, you don't need to use default anymore and let's uh, carry on with index and since we are going to create a php file i'm going to do a index.php here so i'm going to save this as index.php and uh, now for the main reason why i was talking about sublime text is uh, let's say if i need to start with anything i just need to do this and i've get i've, I've got everything work done and working and uh, one thing is like for example let's say i want to create a header okay i'm going to start annotating something and uh, so this is what i want to create right now this is the page okay and i'll tell you all the shortcuts as well and we've got uh this one is header sorry about my bad handwriting please forgive me and there is a h1 and there is a logo here so that's h1 for now we will put a text okay logo as a text which is linked so which says logo 
then we have like home about contact help some four links something like that okay so this the whole thing is inside a nav and then we've got ul then we all these things are inside li a li a etc so how long do you think writing this whole thing takes in just in a normal way uh, just mention it in the chat please start mentioning like how long do you think this whole thing takes just for the html part alone i'm waiting you have 30 seconds time that's 15 minutes okay 5 minutes just three people are telling this <laughs> okay come on come on come on all right hey who's that 10 seconds okay <laughs> we pull all right fine i know you are just kidding or maybe you know something all right so now what i'm gonna do is uh only html is five minutes the the least i have seen is 10 seconds but i i will just ignore that saying that it could be uh um we pull might be oh no 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 copying and all someone is actually messing up with the <laughs> all right okay uh copying no 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 it's about like writing your code on yourself so yeah okay fine now everyone has agreed that the minimum time it takes is gonna be uh five minutes to maximum time i have seen like 15 minutes 30 minutes etc i didn't see 30 minutes on all okay superb now i'm gonna do the same thing you can start the timer now it says it's 12 55 here in 15th uh maybe i'll start at the 30th second okay so uh let me start exactly at 7 25 then in that case okay you can start the timer so i've got a header tag inside i've got a h1 a link and then it says logo here and then along with the head h1 tag i've got a nav tag there is ul and there is li which has four links and then i've got links in everything and i'll say like item dollar for now which is going to give me that set so how long did this did this take it took me just 25 seconds so i'm really now uh, intrigued to understand what exactly Vipul was telling by five seconds. All right. So again, there is also another thing that we can do with this. So let's say we have home about um, projects contact us about us maybe. And then what I'm going to do is with sublime text, there are a few things that is super possible. So I'm just going to cut this way, everything. And then I'm going to select this in a vertical way and paste it. Did you see what happened? So everything is like perfectly given here. And I can just copy this one, add this here, add HTML or something like that. And then if I want something like a, another tag, like a span tag, I can do that as well. So now I've got this. Uh, I need this whole text to be added here. So I can put up span, give a tab, clicking on home or about us or whatever goes to, and I just go here, copy this, paste it. Please don't play with the, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> annotations. Yeah. And then now look at this. It's very simple. Uh, let me disable annotations for everyone. I don't know how to do that. Okay, right, that's fine. So look at this. This is this is a good way of like uh, using uh, Sublime Text or Emmet. So the one which I used, like for example, if you have something like uh, we have dot app inside dot app, we have a header and footer, and inside the footer I have a paragraph tag which says hello GSSOC. Expanding this is called emmet so we are using something called as emmet emmet is available in most of the um, editors right now including online editors so emmet.io is the online the, the main thing previously it was called as zen coding 
now they have changed their name as Emmet. Okay, so this is really helpful in terms of using, um, you know, using Sublime Text. Now, as uh, who was it again? As Nikita said, we are going to copy and paste a lot of Bootstrap now. Okay, so right now we haven't done anything pr uh, productive as of now, but I've just showed you a lot of good things to make yourself productive. Okay, now let's say uh, GSSOC um, Bootstrap PHP trial something like this okay and we are going to create two pages two to three pages and with the two to three pages i guess we will be able to uh, really appreciate why we are we require like uh, more than uh, why we require php and other things okay now what i'm going to do is copy pasting that would be the best part right so let's go to bootstrap.com and uh, the first thing which i want is the header okay so i'm going to go to the documentation and start with the nav bar so with the nav bar what i wanted to do is i want something like um, a dark nav bar with uh, with with just these four things okay i'm just going to completely copy this one add it towards here the unfortunate thing is this is tab spaced but that's uh, uh, space spaced so i'm going to quickly set the tab size to 2 and then add this whole thing here and do this then put convert convert indentation to tabs okay this way it works perfectly fine for me now uh, there are a few things that i wanted to do so now if i save this and go to the okay running the page right so if you go to the place where we did it here i'm gonna check git status well there is the index.php that's been added i'm i'm going to use a lot of shortcuts right now so please don't get um, afraid about that all the shortcuts that i'm using are here so blog.brain.science slash git hyphen shortcuts and all these things make you a lot productive so there is this master uh, command so all the shortcuts are available here i'm just going to send this uh, link to the slack as well Guys, I think this might go on forever. Another another session might be going on. I guess like we can we can uh, take forward with another session. <laughs> That's what I meant. Okay, but let's see. Um, yeah, as long as you are all also free. Yes, these sh these shortcuts are Git shortcuts, so you can configure Git either in Windows or Mac or Linux. Git is um, there in every every single operating system so all the operating systems support these shortcuts so you can use them all right now what i'm gonna do is uh, i've got the navbar done uh, let's quickly see how it looks so for running this code what i'm gonna do is before before running it i'm gonna um, commit add everything and commit them so initial uh, index page with bootstrap I'm 100% sure this will not work. The reason being, uh, I haven't added the bootstrap uh, library, right? So so to, to run this code, I'm gonna use sudo php-s localhost 80. Since I'm running in localhost 80, 80 is less than 1024. Any um, application that needs to use a port that is less than or equal to 1024 in Linux based machines will require admin permissions. So that's the reason I have used sudo here. And let's go back to our thing. Does Git not have a GUI for easy navigation? I would prefer not to use a GUI because a GUI kind of like uh, you don't know what exactly happens inside Git. So even if it is a command line interface, look at this, how easy it shows. So it says it's on branch master, your branch is based on origin slash master, but the upstream is not available. Use Git branch set upstream to flip. It, it, it gives you every single thing. So let me quickly do a GP sub. So again, that's another uh, shortcut. Please don't see this. Um, it what it does is it git pushes with upstream as origin master so this is what happens here so that is a shortcut for gp sub and yes uh, if you are using vs code let me get vs code on top here just a second so for people who are like afraid of the command line interface it's completely fine um 
what I'm gonna do now is let me open open this in a new tab. Okay, just a second. So if I try to open this here on this, so you can cl uh, quickly see that the Git is actually loaded and it has the source con control registered. And if I open this and let's say, uh, if I do any of these changes, it's gonna affect my uh, sublime text now. So I'm not gonna actually do any changes. So I'm gonna do a change here. Instead of pricing, I'm gonna put hello or something like that. Look at this, it immediately discuss, uh, discovered that this particular file has changed and it also showed me here the changes. So it's been changed from pricing to hello. So um, you can use VS code in this case if you are not very comfortable with Git. And uh, uh, that's actually a good idea. And uh, other than that, I don't like VS code for this one because it doesn't it doesn't support Emmet in such a good way. So I'm just close, gonna close the VS code. Uh, and now I've got the thing here. Now let's start working on it. So if you, if you see here, it doesn't look styled, right? The main reason is I haven't added the bootstrap classes. The best and easy way to use a bootstrap uh, in your application is by using bootstrap CDN. So I'm gonna quickly get the bootstrap CDN from uh, bootstrapcdn.com. So getting this copied, uh, all I need to do is I need to add a link and then put it here. So once this is done, and if I reload this page, boom, there you go. Now, the main reason why we are using, um, why we are using PHP is we need to, we will be using a lot of partials. So I'm going to create a new folder and then I'm going to create uh, or else before going to that, let's try to create a simple page. Okay. So I want this to be uh, navbar as dark. So let's put as dark and that, that looks really good. And uh, we don't need any disabled links for now. And for now we will just use home um, projects. about us some oh this is so bad it's going to stop in 10 minutes right so we've got this one ready now okay and now with this one uh what i'm gonna do is i want also uh, a margin bottom uh maybe three rem so that it's gonna give me some good margins on the bottom so which, which doesn't look good oh i haven't refreshed it so this still doesn't show me oh yeah, yeah it does show me okay i'll just add four of them okay so now after this navigation i really need a, a container that is fluid and then inside that i want a row with two columns so call six x2 so um this could be like your uh, um left side and right side something like this for now we have got the whole thing done and dusted here okay now the main reason why we are using php here is so we can see that within few seconds the whole code looks like it's it grow, grown up to 35 lines um, it might easily grow up to an uncontrollable way so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a new folder here and uh, name them as partials and inside this i'm gonna create a new file called header header.inc and there is also another one another file which i'm gonna name it as footer.inc these two inc files it's just the naming convention guys so you don't need to really uh, break your head on this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut everything from here and paste everything in the header.inc and with a with an empty uh, space uh, before that before even saving it I'm gonna check what exactly I have changed. So I've just updated a few links. So get add just the index part and uh, I'm gonna put like uh, updated, see, sorry, added bootstrap CSS. And uh, what was the other one which I did? Uh, it is almost like uh, ink files are like creating competence in react. That's exactly what I wanted to use PHP. But uh, the good part about it is uh, you won't be finding it difference. You don't, you don't find a difference like it, it has everything statically generated. That's the good part about it. So you don't need 
even a javascript file to make this run that's the that's the coolest part uh, bootstrap css and updated links updated nav okay so this is what i just did now we are going to get into partials so this one i've cut everything from here and put here so all we need to do here is for those people who do not know php all you need to know is how to use includes that's it you just need to do include partials slash header dot inc now i have saved these files but i haven't saved this file if i refresh this it's gone if i save this and refresh it it is back again and if you go page view source it's going to show you the same thing there is no difference but however your code looks a lot cleaner so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this whole nav bar and create another file here so it's going to be nav.inc and i'm going to add the nav bar here and save it so obviously after this one i would require the nav bar so i'm adding nav.inc now instead of the at the end i'm just going to use slash body and slash html so after the footer dot in the footer dot ink i'm going to use this one and if i do an include partials slash footer dot inc that will exactly work like how it's supposed to work there you go so there is there is no difference so now all we need to do is this is just 10 lines of the code what is this include statement doing this include statement will include this file on at this point so if i have anything here it's going to include in between that if i refresh this page see the body till body is the header right till the starting of the body is the header and now i have added here in between the nav and the header and you could see that this is the header file header php file uh, uh, header ink file and this is the uh, nav ink file nav ink file has the here here and another part of this is the the good part another good part about this is what we can do here with the nav file okay let's say we've got i mean this is for people who are comfortable with php okay let's say i've got a few couple of um, links okay uh, the links are an array representation i hope everyone will be able to understand the array forms and other things so the first link will be like uh, let's say about.htm um so that will have a name as about me or about us um let's just copy this whole thing again and again and again so index.htm which is going to be home about.htm is going to be your about page um projects dot htm it's going to be projects um we've got uh, we'll get rid of this one and finally we will use contact dot htm and we'll use contact us now all we need to do is since we have got everything perfectly written here we just need to uh, list out them one by one so again it's going to be a simple php uh, simple for loop so for actually we will use a for each here in this case this will be the perfect thing links as we don't need the key so as a link what is going to happen here is here you can add the html again in between this so i'm just going to copy one particular nav item from here and then add it over there so if i just tap 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 here add this one here so this one i need the particular link okay so it's going to be echo echo is the um, document dot write or uh, outputting something so i'm just going to put an link here obviously i need the um, sorry it's going to be link text so link will get you these things and text will get you these things okay so here i'm going to put text instead of link and inside the href i'm just going to put various link tags in the sense uh, i didn't understand uh, arthi can you can you explain what you are trying to do or what you are trying to suggest 
So now if I save this one, I hope this works actually. Um, if I refresh this page, this whole thing gets regenerated based on this array values. So if you go back to here and refresh this page, it, got, it has got home, about us, projects, contact us, etc. Okay, so uh, obviously we need to set the active link and those kind of things we can do it later. Uh, not a big deal. And let's say if we suddenly want to add something new uh, quickly. So let's say uh, we can use gssoc.htm and gssoc, save it. It's just one line. You don't need to know even HTML and other things. So it automatically generates the link for you. That's what I was saying. Yes, you are right. Uh, I understand with just with using HTML, we can do the main reason why we are using HTML, we are using PHP is we are not going to repeat ourselves. It is kind of like do not repeat yourselves. DRY principle. Uh, I guess we might uh, be again joining the session. So um, whoever has the um, okay, I'll try to I'll I'll try to send the invite to the next session as quick as possible right away. Okay, uh, it might cut me off anytime from now. So uh, just give me bear with me. I'll send you the link right away. So whoever got the link using WhatsApp, just ping me on WhatsApp again. All right. I guess it's gonna stop the meeting. So.